guys, today we're looking at the Super Baja Ray from Team Lozi. This is a 1-6 scale trophy truck. It's $969.99, and it is definitely not new. It's been out for a couple years, but it is a favorite in our hobby shop. It's one of the cars that is known to be one of the best driving um, larger cars that we sell, and everybody seems to love it. Uh, the only problem is it does not come very well set up out of the box, and it needs a lot of improvements. Now, the first thing I want to show you guys is that the rear of the car sits higher than the front, and that is a big no-no for handling. If you take this level here, you'll actually see in the bubble it's not centered. That is way off. So in order to rectify that, the trailing link position uh, needs to be moved in one towards the rear. You see it over here. It, okay, it's in this position. You want to move it one back. If you move it one back, it's going to sit level and your car is going to handle a lot better. Traction rolling is going to be much improved. The second thing that you have to realize is that your tires are um, you're ballooning under full throttle, especially if you're going to go with 8S. They contort, they expand, and they basically make the car drive like crap. It is not something that you want. It's, not, it's going to take away from the whole scalability of the car, the whole drivability. It's going to um, cause uh, premature wear on your universals and your differentials because you increase the rotating mass and the car is all over the place. It's just a big mess. So the first thing you're going to do um, is basically because these are three-piece wheels, you can actually take the, uh, the hex screws out of them. You're going to remove the screws, remove the, the plastic, take out the foam, and then you're going to turn this inside out and you're going to line it with Gorilla Tape. It has to be Gorilla Tape. Uh, they make the, the tape with the best glue on it and the backing. If you put this and line this with the tires, this will never come off and the glue will actually get have a stronger bind over time. So really good and really necessary to make your car handle properly. Another thing we're gonna tell you to do is the, the oil that they're using in the car is too thin from the factory. Uh, what we found is 70 weight in the front and 60 in the back. If you do that, you're gonna increase your damping and you're gonna slow down the suspension. You're gonna decrease your traction rolling. It's gonna be amazing. The other thing you wanna do is you definitely wanna stiffen up your springs about a quarter of an inch um, in front and rear, and you're gonna leave it in that position. You, you can play with them to see how you like to drive the car. Everybody has a different preference in their, you know, in their uh, spring tensioner positions, but that's what I like. Now, there are a lot of people making YouTube videos showing the really stiff springs from GPM Racing. I advise against those. It's just gonna increase um, your tension rate, and then it's, it's not gonna be in line with your damping, and the car's gonna be very bouncy. Um, and I don't, I don't really, uh, it's just gonna take away from the scalability of the car. This is a trophy truck and it's supposed to handle like a trophy truck. Uh, once you stiffen up the springs um, a little too much, it's gonna take away from the overall feel of the car. Anyway, I would try the settings that we're recommending first and then go from there. Now, the last thing that we're gonna talk about is the weight. Now, weight is definitely something that plagues this car. I don't know why they decided to do this. Maybe I guess to try to, you know, make the car scale but we are very against the whole rear part of the car. You have two actual real tires, the same tires that come with the car. They're super, super heavy. You have two of them. You have this plastic piece. You have a fake jack, two fire extinguishers, and, fake, and a fake fan unit, all sitting on the back, and they're all sitting way up high, right above the, the line of the car. So it ruins the balance. It raises center gravity point and it completely annihilates the, the handling and the whole feel of the car. You have to take all of that out if you want your car to handle decently. In addition to handling better, your car is also gonna jump a lot better if you take those out. It's gonna be lighter in the air, it's gonna be much more balanced. Right now, your car is way off balance. You probably have like a 70-30 uh, split uh, with all that crap in the rear. Really bad and a very bad idea from uh, Team Lozy. And the last thing we're gonna suggest, and this one is kind of like uh, laughable a little bit, but you wanna take off the branded logos since it's a scale truck, take off the Horizon, take off the Lozy, and just cut off this part of the sticker and get rid of that. Uh, it does take away from the scalability of the car and the appeal. That's just our opinion. I would definitely get rid of them. Now, one cool feature I wanna talk about on the car, which I really love, are is the, uh, the LED lights. You have the bar on the, on the top of the roof, you have one right here by the bumper, and then you have one in the rear. The, the performance of these lights are good, and they're enough to run, do night running. It throws a nice light path in front of the car, 
and it adds another dimension of appeal to this specific car and we love it. So uh, let's talk about one last thing that we noticed in the car we didn't like it. Uh, one thing that we noticed is there's no camera adjustments for the front and the rear of the car. That definitely would have helped with handling. Uh, for some reason, Team Losey chose not to allow any adjustments of those of the camber, and uh, that's kind of upsetting. I wonder if there's any aftermarket people making those parts, uh, but we'll look into that. Now, there's one weak part in the car. We also have to look in to see if anybody makes a modified one, and that's this little, the trailing link support arm right here is plastic. It's right in front of the shock. If you push on it, there's a lot of flex, and that is definitely a part that should be made in aluminum or steel. Um, but we're going to actually do the research. We'll look into that. If we do find it, maybe we'll make a second video or we'll put it in the comments below and we'll, we'll actually uh, pin it to the comments. But other than that, um, this is a phenomenal car. If you listen to me and you actually follow all those settings, you're going to have a car that drives like a real trophy truck. It's such a good drive that I'll go as far as saying that it drives better than the Traxxas UDR. So if, like, again, if you listen to us and you actually do all these improvements this is going to be the best driving trophy truck that you can actually find extremely addicting drive to it very satisfying and one of the most fun trophy trucks that you can buy the bigger size just makes it even more appealing the front led lights even add to that further and uh, like i said the weight the size weight and realistic the realism of the drive also, it just makes it so much fun and really an addicting car. We highly recommend this. Uh, this is, like I said, this is the Brenthal version. We kind of like this one. It's modeled after the real Brenthal car. So this is not just a made up uh, sticker scheme. This is a real car. The real one is about a half a million dollars. And it is a well-known car for trophy truck racing. And uh, we think uh, Team Losey did a great job in reproducing it. Uh, just those small things that need those improvements. And then the car really uh, is going to be one of the best. Now, a lot of people complain that of the stickers coming loose during driving. And the reason for that is you see a lot of the stickers, the way they made the sticker, they actually um, don't finish correctly on the gaps. So they stick out, dirt gets in there, and then they end up peeling off. What you can do is take 100% silicone, very thin coat, and you just coat all the places where there's a break in the sticker, just so that none of it comes or breaks loose and dirt doesn't get in there. It does work. Uh, if you don't do that, you're going to have a major problem with your stickers coming off and then and that whole scale look is going to be compromised. The improvements that we suggested are going to prevent your car from doing excessive traction rolling. Uh, but your car, like I said, is going to traction. It's still going to have a little bit of uh, the tendency to traction roll, but it's going to be a lot more predictable. All right, guys. So this is Mark from Park Flores RC signing off. Please leave a thumbs up, share the video and all comments below. Once again, have a nice day and we'll see you on the next review.